Hi, my name is Tushar and I'm here at the Kanwarman Week which is being celebrated in two cities, Delhi and Mumbai. If I can, then you can, then we can make a change. Did you ever wonder, what is the importance of a simple can? In how many ways this modest mode of packaging touches your life? Well, right from a can of a soda, to shaving cream, cooking oil canisters, wall paints and even baby food, cans are everywhere. The humble can was invented by an Englishman by the name of Peter Durand in 1810 as a solution to the world's growing packaging needs. Now, 200 years later, it's one of the most widely used material for packaging and storing various consumer goods. The fact that it is environment friendly and 100% recyclable attributes to its popularity. A can produced today can be recycled innumerable times and still be used years later for a higher and more value added item. Frenchman by the name of Nicolas Appiert was the first one to experiment with the tin coated steel to produce what we call today a tin can or simply the can. Celebrating his birthday on the 17th of November and the historic completion of 200 years of the birth of the tin can. Can Warman Week is being celebrated in eight countries from five continents originating here in India. Can making is a completely automated process. Cans are manufactured in a tightly controlled and environment-friendly atmosphere. The utmost care is given to following international safety and hygiene standards. Did you know the first time a can is ever touched by a human hand is when it reaches the final consumer? Other than that, the entire can manufacturing process is automated devoid of direct human interaction. Which means this is the first time someone has ever held this can. Well, that's something to think about. But what will really happen to this can when I'm done with it? How does the whole recycling process work? In India, the can recycle industry works as a pyramid, starting with rag pickers on the street who collect cans and pass them on to scrap traders. These are then transported to smelting factories where old cans are melted down to create shiny new cans, thus completing the can circle of life. Green cops have always harped on the importance of recycling, but no one really cares about the people involved in this process. Can Warman Week focuses on the plight of the rack pickers by giving back to this very important link in the chain of recycling. As part of the Canvironment Week, can banks have been set up at various locations around Delhi and MCR to collect cans. Members of the public can directly deposit their cans after use and these are then sent across for recycling. The revenue collected from this will be used to rehabilitate these rag pickers, who work in hazardous and sometimes life-threatening conditions. I'm here at the Health Mela organized by the Hindustan Tin Works Limited. The tour they force behind the Kenwarman Week. I'm here to meet Atit Bhatia, who's the senior vice president of Hindustan Tin Works. Let's go and see what's brewing. Started as a pilot project, the Kenwarman Week Health Mela has done health checkups on over 1,000 rag pickers in three slum areas of New Delhi, commemorating the 200 years of the birth of the can. Health insurance policies were provided to 200 rag pickers living in these slums. So, Atit, what prompted you to start something like Can Environment Week? You know, cans are the most environment friendly package available today. 
So we thought we should leverage on this opportunity and increase the visibility. So we did a Pan India recycling study with an independent company and we found out that uh, uh, in fact India has one of the highest levels of recycling which is close to 100%. Rack pickers are the cog in the recycling wheel. They are the ones who give us a cleaner and a greener environment to live in. That is what really initiated this movement and uh, gave birth to something called Can Environment Week. So what were your objectives in the first five year plans? See, the objective is to increase visibility with all industry stakeholders uh, nationally and internationally. Today, Can Environment Week is, uh, uh, is being celebrated across eight countries across the world and we hope to add more Can Environment friendly partners year on year uh, and uh, make this uh, mega grand event uh, for the world. Like there is a World Recycling Day, like there is a World Environment Day, now we have a World uh, Can Environment Week. Well, that was great. Now it's time for some fun stuff. Let's check out some of the other events organized during the Kenwarman Week. While recycling is a great way to reduce our carbon footprints, reuse is a cool way to do the same. Recycle Mania, held at the Indian Institute of Packaging in Mumbai, was a tribute to this humble object. Cans were used to create furniture and artifacts. The Canvarman Week is celebrated with the spirit of four hours. Reduce, recycle, reuse and respect. While we've seen the first three in practice, what about the fourth one? As part of the Canvarman Week, painting competitions were held in Mumbai and Delhi for about 700 children of the rag pickers. Funds were raised to sponsor the education of these children the idea is to start at the grassroots level and drive home the message of respect to this community. I'm right outside the office of Hindustan Tin Works Limited. I'm here to see Mr. Sanjay Bhatia, who's the managing director of this company and the key force behind this humongous effort. Let's go and meet him. You see, the first thing in this was uh, a group sat down and we talked about different options while looking at this project, starting from rack pickers and the recyclability, metal packaging and sustainability. Then finally, after due deliberations, we thought that let's focus this year on sustainability and uh, rack pickers. Then. The next thing was to talk to the right partners who have the same vision and passion about the sustainability. And finding out them and getting them on board was the next thing and uh, meeting various stakeholders on that and co convincing them that this is what in HTW we would like to do. You see, as I mentioned that uh, talking to different uh, stakeholders, I mean, there we thought about government, NGOs, and of course the brand owners and suppliers, customers, so everyone across the supply chain as we call it. Commitment from them really benefited the project in a big way and that is the reason we could really move forward with the speed. As a growing world, our needs are increasing at an alarming rate. The can industry has taken this step to reduce its impact on global warming, reusing their product to create beauty recycling to give back to Mother Nature and create an environment of respect in the community of rag pickers. Well, I'm heading off to the grand finale of this week to join in the celebration there. I hope I can come back here next year. But remember, your little effort can make a huge difference in the world. I know I can. I can. I can. If I can.